Nature uses as little as possible of anything. Johannes Kepler was a German mathematician, philosopher, and astronomer. He was born December 27, 1571, and died November 15, 1630. At the age of 59, he was the youngest of two and was born prematurely in the Holy Roman Empire. He was very young when he began to become interested in astronomy. When he was six, he watched what was known as the Great Comet of 1577. When he was nine, he observed a lunar eclipse. Soon after, he developed childhood smallpox, crippling his vision and his bones. After he graduated from the University of Tubington, he began to work under Tycho Brahe's tutorage. During then, he was capable of testing his theory about Mysterium Cosmographicum based on the data he's collected of the surrounding planets. In 1601, Tycho Brahe died and Kepler was asked to be his successor. He accepted and took Brahe's place, continuing his research on the, on the planets. He continued for 11 years, studying lunar eclipses and on one occasion, a supernova. He became married to uh, Barbara Muller's and began the slow process of tabulating the, Ru uh, the Rudolphine tables at the same time. While his works were labeled unholy and against God, he was still one of the most influential people of the time, if people listened to him, that was. If he came to this time, being his work was already founded, he would be one of the most famous scientists of all time, minus the fact that he already is.